Okay, so now we have question number eight, continuation. And um, we're going to do part B. It says, estimate the median number of hours of overtime claimed by these 40 staff in the month. So this is January 2014, um, IAL. And it's question number eight, part B now. So this is question number eight. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do here for part B and part C is make a little frequency table from what we've worked out from the histogram. So, you know, we've got basically the the hours of overtime and we've got the, I'm going to put frequency here. Okay, frequency. Now, we know that between zero and two hours, okay, zero and two hours, then we got between two and five hours. And then we got between five and ten hours. And then between, sorry, five and ten hours, yes, then between ten and twenty hours. And then between twenty and thirty hours. Okay, so we're making a little frequency table. And we know that in the first bar there's sixteen items. 12 items, 6 items, 4 items, and 2 items. These are, this is the, the results that we got in, in part A when we had to work out the percentage or the, the number of people who um, who worked 10 hours or less than 10 hours of overtime. So you have to add these together basically, right? Now it says, estimate the median number of hours of overtime claimed by these 40 staff in the month. So we've got to estimate the median number. Now the median, when you've got grouped frequency like this, um, is calculated using what's called linear interpolation. Okay, so first of all, we know that there's a total of 40 items, 40 people represented in this frequency, um, in this frequency table. And we want to know what the number of overtime or how many hours of overtime <coughs> is claimed by the one right in the middle of that data okay which is the 20th the 20th person in terms of the order of size of the number of hours of overtime as they listed okay now um, why did I say 20th because it's n over 2 40 over 2 as it's group frequency we don't say 40 over 2 and then add 1 and stuff like that no we just take exactly what it is, even if it comes as a decimal, we use that because this is grouped frequency table and what we're doing is an estimate. All right, it's an estimate of the median. See, it says estimate. Because <coughs> we can't calculate the actual median because we don't know the data. We don't know the exact values of each parts of the data. We know there's 16 people who work between zero and two hours. As for how long each of those work, we don't know. Okay, so we're going to just, it's just an estimate. Okay, so we're looking for the 20th person. So what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called linear interpolation. So I'll make a little line here to represent the group where the 20th person lies. So first we've got to identify in which group does the 20th uh, item or the 20th person lie when they're written in order. Well, there's 16 people in that first group that, that claimed up to two hours okay, of overtime. And the next 12 people are in the next group. So obviously the 20th is going to be in this group, four along this group, isn't it? Okay, 16. So the beginning of this group, this group is from 2 to 5, 2 hours to 5 hours. At the beginning of the group, there's 16. By the end of the group, there's another um, 12, so that's 28. Okay, so the width of the group is 12, as you can see from here. And four members into the group, you'll get the 20th. Okay, that's four members into the group, you've got the 20th. Okay, we want to find what this value is, which is going to call Q2, the median. Q2 is a symbol given for the median. Okay, so Q2 is going to be 2, because it's going to be more than this, plus, and we're going to make the fraction, we, know, we want to know what fraction of the length between 2 and 5 will the median lie. Well, that will be the same fraction that 20 lies along this, this group here, okay, which is 4 over 12. So you're going to have 4 over 12, that's a fraction of the width of the group, which is three in terms of, okay, the hours. Okay, so you can see that that's going to give us something nice because four over 12 is one third, one third times three is one. So it's two plus one, which is three hours. So we can say the median Q2 
is equal to 3 hours. Okay, that's part B done. Now, part C is very much similar to this. Okay, let me just get the question for part C. Part C is over here. Estimate the mean number of hours of overtime claimed okay, by these 40 staff. So we estimate the median, and now we're going to estimate the mean. We're going to estimate the mean. Now, <laughs> estimating the mean, what we need to do is we need to think about what does a, what does a mean actually mean? What is the mean? Well, the mean is when we take all the data entries, we add we add them all together, and we divide by the number of entries. So we'd have to take all the hours of overtime that each person has claimed, and we'd have to add all those hours together, and then divide by 40, because there's 40 people who we're considering. Okay, so again, we cannot find the mean, because we don't know exactly how much each of these people you know, claimed in overtime. I know, for example, six people claimed between five and ten hours. As for how much they actually claimed each, we don't know. Okay? We don't know. So we cannot find the mean, but we can estimate the mean. Now, estimating the mean is done by finding what's called the mid-interval value, which is halfway between these limits. Okay? So you just add them together and divide by two. Okay, you don't care whether it says equals or not equals and these things. It's just an estimate. So you're not going to be you know, nitpicking about what to use as your mid-interval value. It's just pretty simple. Just add them together and divide by 2. So halfway between 0 and 2 is 1. Halfway between 2 and 5 is 3.5. Halfway between 10, 5 and 10 is 7.5. Between 10 and 20 is 15. And between 20 and 30 is 25. So I know that there's 16 people who worked, who, who, who claimed... Um, less than two hours of overtime. We don't know exactly how much they claimed, so let's say they all claimed one. That's an estimate. Twelve people claimed between two and five hours of overtime. I don't know how much each of these people actually claimed, but somewhere between those values. So let's take the halfway value, 3.5 and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the mid-interval value, let's put mid-interval value, which is x, by the frequency to give us an estimate of the total number of hours of overtime that were claimed. So you're going to have 16 times 1 plus 12 times 3.5 plus 6 times 7.5 plus 4 times 15 plus 2 times 25 and that's going to be divided by the number of people in the you know in the frequency table which is 40. Okay? And when you do that you will get an estimate of the mean number of hours of overtime claimed by these 40 staff. Okay, so let's get out our calculator. And I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see what's going on better. Okay, so we have 16 times 1. I'll just say, well, actually, I'll get the total first. 16 times 1, which is 16, plus 12 times 3.5. Okay, plus 6 times 7.5, plus, oops, 7.5, plus 4 times 15, plus, just take it out of the way so you can see what's going on, 2 times 25, which is 15. Okay, that gives us a total of 213. And we divide that by 40. Okay. We divide that by 40. That gives us 5.325. 5.325 hours. Okay, that's the mean. Let's give the symbol x bar. Okay, so that is the number of hours of overtime. That is the mean number of hours of overtime. We leave it, I'm not going to round it to 3 or 7 because that's an exact value. It's stopped there, so we can leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. Okay, unless they tell you another, no, they don't tell you anything else, so that's fine. You can leave it exactly like that. So that's how you find the median and the mean from this frequency table, which we derived from the answer for part A. Okay, so there we have 
um, the answer. And we can always check to see, does it look sensible? Like if your answer was like, you know, 27 point something, and then the, the category goes, goes from, you know, the hours are from 0 to 30, it can't be something outside of this range. It must be something within this range somewhere. Okay? So there we have it. That's the answer for part C of this question. Thank you for watching.